Hi YouTube, this is Born with a Veil. Please like, share, and subscribe. Leave a comment also, please. If you'd like to contact me, contact me at bornwithaveil at yahoo.com. So, this is for the Earth Signs, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Uh, there's music playing in the background. That's a movie I'm watching, entertainment purposes only. I do not have the rights to that music. So, let's get on with Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. It could be your sun, moon, or rising. Uh, you could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, okay? Or you could be dating a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So, let's get on there pre-shuffled. I want to see what's going on here. So, as what I see, uh, ver, uh, earth signs, you know, you're going to have to uh, love yourself. You're not loving yourself enough. You're always down on yourself. And this reading is for June the 1st to June the 30th of 2020, okay? So, you have to love yourself first. You're putting everybody before you. Um, you're worrying about everybody else and their problems, and you're not looking out for yourself, okay? You are number one uno, Okay? karmic relationship and then unrequited love i will tell you right now that there's a relationship that you should be in it's a karmic relationship it's a beautiful relationship but then there's somebody that you're with now this could be a three-way love affair or it could be somebody you're engaged to or married to that there's just not enough uh, chemistry to keep this relationship going you see how she's looking she don't care how much this man loves her she does not want to be with them and if you're married this could be your husband um it could be your wife um, if this is a three-way love affair, there's somebody else that you're in love with that you are meant to be with. Um, but you've got so much stuff going on. You're forgetting to love yourself in this. Okay. So, um, yeah, there's definitely in a marriage, there's definitely no love there. You're not in love. You might love or care, but you're not in love. There's somebody else that you, you really want to be with. And that's the karmic relationship. Okay. Get these cards together. So, here we go. You got the high priestess between the past life and the separation. So, there's somebody that you're very much in love with. I'm going to read all these cards together, okay? There's somebody that you're separated from at this particular time that you're very much in love, love with. You've had a past relationship with them. They are your twin flame. Uh, soulmate um, and you're separated from them you is getting to the point that you can't stand it you can't wait to have sex with them uh, love with them uh, get freaky with them um, and you just can't wait for him or her to touch you okay and spend time together okay so we have imprisonment free yourself and father so what these three cards are telling me that there's a father that's been in prison um he is getting out of prison and you might be the father for the first time uh you haven't seen you haven't seen your child yet maybe your child is five years old three years old newborn whatever age that the father is he's been imprisoned he will be getting out um in the month of june or july or august could even be september but definitely he's getting freed He's getting out of that prison, okay? And he will be able to see his child, and his child will be able to see him, okay? So what we have here, some of you feel left out of a relationship. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or your partner feels left out. There's somebody that you have to release within a love triangle or a love relationship or a divorce. Um, your love life is extending to a higher self. Um, in other words, this here, you feel left out. You feel like an orphan. You don't know what to do. Okay? You feel like you're alone. Like, nobody loves you. Don't nobody care. It's like almost self-pity on yourself. Okay? But then here, you've got release your ex, and then you've got your love life. Once you release this person, your love life is going to ascend. Okay? I don't like that card. So, uh, well, I'm going to use it anyway since I put it out there. So, 
some of you are very much in love. Um, there's some of you that are so in love, you hear music all the time. Um, and how you could tell you with your soulmate or um, twin flame, sometimes you do hear music. Sometimes you feel like you've been hit in the middle of your stomach. Everything changes within yourself. It's a feeling that you can't explain, okay? Um, excuse me, almost sneezed. Um, the universe is bringing this person to you, bringing your spouse to you, most definitely. But there's... Um, Every time you hear love songs, you think of this person or you want to be with them. But you definitely are going to marry your twin flame and your soulmate. Because you've prayed a lot to the other side, to the universe. Okay? And then we have chemistry, spirituality, and biblical. So... Some of you, the Bible talks about adultery. The Bible talks about marriage. Um, and then you have, this is where it comes, the spirituality in the Bible, biblical, and the chemistry. So I will tell you this. In the Bible, it's, it's against fornication. Um, but then you can't help to who you're attracted to. You are definitely attracted to somebody here. There's a magnetic attraction that you just cannot escape. But then you're, some of you are so into the Bible so much, church going, that you're worried, oh my God, I'm in love with this person. I could be married or I could not be. Um, or I'm going through a divorce and I'm in love with somebody else. But the Bible tells me this, fornication, um, you know, adulterer. So some of you are feeling that way too. Um, but then some of you, the, the attraction is so much with this other person that you don't even give a damn. There's this, like this person that you're in love with or they're in love with you. It's like a magnet, like they're just pulling you closer and closer to them. Now I will say this, some of you could have did a spell on somebody or somebody did a spell on you to make you head over heels. Uh, pulling you closer to them. But it's not in a bad way. It's because they love you. Okay? Here we got inquited love again. Trust and faith. Unrequited love and vows. So some of you are feeling guilty about the vows that you took. Um, because you did make a vow to your partner. But the chemistry is so much with this other person, man or woman... That it's getting to the point you don't care. You don't care because you're falling out of love with the person that you're married to or that you're with. Unrequited love. It's just not there anymore. But then you have the trust and faith that whoever you're in love with, with this other person, that you're going to be with them. Now, some of you that are married or in a relationship, you vow to stay with this person, but there's no love or attraction there anymore. And you're having trace, trust and faith. Um, that maybe some of you, that God is going to give you the right answer of what you should do. And then some of you are going to leave the marriage uh, altogether because there's just not enough love. There's just not, there's some sex that's not going on and not attraction. Um, then you got the soulmate. Yeah, this person, um, some of you, um, when quarantine is over, you're going to run to them. And this is to your lover, to your soulmate. And some of you are dealing with a Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. They're going to have it in the chart. Okay. Um, now, some of you feel like you're being persecuted. If it's a three-way love affair, some of you are feeling persecution from maybe friends, family. Um, maybe some of you are engaged to be married and you're feeling the persecution from fa family or friends because you done fell in love with somebody else. Um, and then some of you are dating someone from Asia. They could be from Asia or you live in Asia. But there's definitely um, a three-way party. Some of you could be engaged at the time and now you're seeing a lover or a mistress or just lovers and you're being pure, uh, persecuted for it because... They expect you to marry this person that you're engaged to. Um, maybe you're going on a honeymoon to Asia. 
but you're getting a lot of flack for this if they know about it. Okay, this is not going to resonate with everybody. Okay, trust me on this. Um, so, it is safe for you to love again. It's very much safe for you to love again. Um, you've been in a bad marriage, bad relationship, period. Um, I feel like some of you are living so far away from humanity, some of you, in another country, uh, that you just want to pick up and go. You don't want to be with this person anymore. Um, maybe you've been talking to your mother about not being happy, maybe going back home to your mother um, so you could fall in love, so you could be with this other person. Because maybe this other person, this out of this third party, uh, you're in love with them and they live close to your mother or your mother knows this person. Um, but there's definitely uh, a stipulation here. Okay? So, and then some of you live on a farm. Some of you live in a farm, maybe out west. And um, let me see what this love card. Some of you live so far away from this person, okay? Um, <clears throat> it could be on a farm. Um, stay optimistic about your love life. Um, they still want you to stay optimistic about it, uh, knowing that the angels are around you always and guiding you um, to where you're supposed to be. Just ask the angels to help you. But I definitely feel like you're with someone that might have you away from your family. And it could be way out, like on a farm. It could be <clears throat> somewhere way out. And they're trying to keep you from your family. They're trying to keep you from that person. Maybe they know that you're in love with somebody else or they have a feeling. Um, or they could have found out. And this way, by keeping you far away, they feel like they could keep you from this other person. Okay? Uh, I'm going to draw two more cards. So, I see some of you reconciling with someone from your past is definitely returning codependency um there's addictions that are affecting your romantic life um maybe this person that's coming back depended on you too much um maybe you're still thinking it over do you still want to take this person back from your past okay and i do have a couple messages from a, a loved ones that have passed over so your message from your loved ones that passed over, they said they are not dead and don't be afraid. And it was my time to go. So they, when you go to the other side, your spirit is still alive. Your body is dead here, but your spirit goes to the other side. And don't be afraid. They're telling you, don't be afraid of your life. Don't be afraid of what happened. They want you to go on with your life. And it was my time to go. It was their time to go. Okay. It was their time to go. So, um, Taurus, the one thing I could say to you is, um, stop being fearful. Um, uh, and then it goes myself as a Taurus. Stop being fearful. Stop being fearful. And, um, uh, enjoy your life you have some heavy decisions to make Taurus uh, regarding the three-way or just going into another relationship period but you're gonna have to make a decision uh, spring summer of who you want to be with what you want to do um, some of the decisions are hard and some of them are easy okay but you have to look at yourself like does this other person make you happy <clears throat> or does the person you're with make you happy um, and you can even get a sheet of paper out. I, it may be childish, but you could write, if you're in a three-way love affair, write their names down, good and bad for each person, and write all the bad down about the one person and then any good that they did and do the same thing for the other. If the bad outweighs the other person, then that's the person you should not be with. Okay? You should be with the one that makes you happy. Okay? Um... So, this is Born With A Veil. Please like, share, and subscribe. This is not going to resonate with everybody. So, if it resonates with you, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much.